Good morning. This is Reverend Deb Hansen from the First United Methodist Church, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, day 17 of our videos and our reflections and devotions that we are sending out by posting them online so that others can read them and know that they're not alone through this journey as we all wait to see what happens and hope that we are not infected with the coronavirus. Sometimes it's helpful to know that you're not alone and reading scripture and prayer always help us to move forward and to know that God is with us. So I'd like to share with you from Philippians chapter four, verses five through seven. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which passes and surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Well, it's hard not to wonder and worry, isn't it? We sit and we think, oh no, what's going to happen now? We may wonder if God's involved in this at all. We may even wonder if God caused it, although I don't believe that. We may wonder when it will all end. We may wonder what we can do in this stay-at-home time to touch base with others as we wait and wait and wait. The Bible repeatedly tells us to pray. How can we pray in such a time? As I said, conversation with God is part of that. And through Jesus' example, we know that we have ways that we can connect with God and God will hear what's on our hearts. So that's all we need to do, is to say what's on our hearts. Tell God how we feel. Let God know, okay, maybe we're afraid. Maybe we are worrying. Maybe we aren't sure if we can trust that God is involved in all of this. But as our, And as our verses from Philippians remind us, we are to go through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving and let our requests be made known to God. It means letting go and trusting God's presence, God's guidance, God's support, God's strength. It means following the medical experts' advice and instructions in keeping our physical distance, in washing our hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, maybe more. It means staying home as much as possible to avoid the spread or to avoid being caught in it. But staying home doesn't need to be limiting. So I have a little short list of some ideas. Pray, 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 whatever's in our hearts. Keep in touch with others through phone calls or emails, or if it's a neighbor, talk across the lawn, or sit out in your driveway and talk to the person there. Of course, it's raining today, so it probably would need to wait. But check in on loved ones and friends and shut-ins and those who are alone so they know that they're not alone either. Help wherever you can. Sometimes people need to have groceries and they can't get out or they're afraid to go out. And we're able to do that. We don't know until we ask. When we're doing something for others, we're helping to bring light, love, and, and caring to them. The caring of God. The love of Christ. It's also a good time as a part of our traveling through this Lenten season to clean house. Well, physically, of course, but spiritually. How is our relationship with God? What would help us to grow closer to God? In what ways can we try new ways of connecting with God in our lives? Some people call it spiritual disciplines, or it may be developing a way to pray more effectively that feels better to us. Most of all, we can just work at letting go of worrying. That's not easy for me because I do tend to be a worrier. But we also have to remember this will not last forever. And so in the meantime, keep praying and praying and praying and praying. And so I invite you to go through this day and each day to come, working at trusting in God's presence praying for the ways in which we can help, but praying for our world, for those who are infected by the virus, 
and for others who need to know God's love. And maybe we can be a part of sharing that love. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us, for being with us, for teaching us, and for helping us to talk to you just because you're there and you're just our love and our friend and you listen to us. We are thankful. So help us to go through this day knowing that you are there. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.